Hey, and thanks for joining me on this quick review of the automated freelancer dashboard Notion template. When you arrive on this page you have access to two different pages. Home, which is the main dashboard for all the sections and databases which contains all the different databases and pages. Let's first have a look at Home, the main dashboard. It's organized by different sections. The first section is project management where you can find tasks, projects, calendar, clients, and meaning notes. You have different views for a lot of these databases. Here you can see we have a per status view, ongoing, this week, late, completed, etc. The interesting thing here to note is the lateness property which displays the number of days left or late, or if it's the last day depending on the status and the deadline of the task. You can also input how many time you spent on each task. And this data will be retrieved in the projects database. In projects, you also have different views, timeline, per status, calendar, hourly rates. If you go to hourly rates here, all of this is retrieved from the tasks database. You can manually input hours which will give you your hourly rate based on the price of the project. Because these two databases are linked, if you click on any project you will see the linked tasks here with all the same views. And this is done automatically thanks to self-referential filtering. When you use this template, which is enabled by default, you will find this database automatically filtered by the current project which is very handy. Then we have the clients, meeting notes, and calendar. The calendar is very basic. You can input all your events on the calendar style here. You can add meetings, events, or reminders. If it's a meeting you can link it to the client. And you have this week's view, this month's view, and the past events view. If we go to clients, which is an important section, here you have two views, all in per status. Per status is like a CRM processing style view. When you click on any client you will see all the related projects, meeting notes, invoices, and proposals. Again, all of this is done automatically and here you can find also information related to the client. For meeting notes, you can find them here, grouped per client, per status, or if you want to see them all like this on a gallery view. Then we have the sales section. In the sales section you have first your products and services. This is what you sell. You can put the type, the price, the landing page for each of them. It's a very basic database. Then on the right you have a snapshot of your yearly income. This comes from the finances page that you can access here. It's very easy to use. Here you add your income, here your expenses and all the data is aggregated into the month's database. So the total income is automatically calculated from this database. Total expenses is automatically calculated from the expenses database. It then calculates your balance. And the same thing here for years. This is the aggregated data of all these months. Everything is done automatically, so nothing to do except imputing your income and expenses. Now, if we go back to the dashboard, beneath you will find invoices and proposals. There are templates for that that are automatically added when you create a new item because the template is enabled by default. If you click on any invoice, you will see this. Everything will come like that. And you can edit the template with your own information here such as your company name, your email, your website. You can also update your currency. In this invoice you can add a payment link or your bank details, as you prefer. So when you create a new invoice, you only have to fill out the client name and information and the invoice number. Then you can follow the status of the invoice if it's pending, half paid, paid or rejected. It's also linked to the client as we've seen before. Same process here for the proposals. Here's what the template looks like, but feel free to customize it as you prefer. Now let's go to the OKR section, which stands for Objectives and Key Results. Objectives are like your goals, and key results are more like the small actionable steps you can take to achieve your goals. Here it's very easy. You have the initial value, which is the value you start from. Then the current value is where you are right now. And then the target value is your goal. 
From all this data, the progress bar is automatically calculated. You can also add time frame and quarter. You can also link it to any objective. So here you can see our goal is, get first newsletter sponsor. We have one item with progress of 70% and one with progress of 50%. This is the average progress from all the key results associated to this objective. Now the knowledge management section, which is quite important if you like to do some research and store things in Notion. First of all, you have your notes here. I like this view because you can quickly see the first few lines and paragraphs of any note. You can also sort and filter your notes per status. So you have unprocessed, in progress, and processed. Then on the right side you have the library where you can access all the content you wish to consume. It can be articles, books, podcasts, studies or videos, anything you like. You can also see them like that. If you prefer, you can filter this column by consumed is unchecked to see only the one you haven't seen. And you can add a short description and URL to the content. Then we have decisions. Here is a space to record all the important decisions that you make. You can see there's a last edited time and created time properties to know when you need to review it. You can use this template that is provided to take your decision. These three databases are linked to the tags database, which is quite important here because it allows you to regroup everything under tags. Here, let's say I want to see everything that's related to mindfulness in my research hub. I can see all the notes associated to mindfulness here, all the content and all the decisions. It's super handy to retrieve information quickly. Now, last but not least, the marketing section, which is mainly the content planner. Moodboard and ebooks are simple pages databases that you'll see if you download the template. Here you have three different views, backlog, per status, and calendar. Calendar is quite useful when you need to know when to schedule any type of content. Per status to follow the process for each of them. And backlog is your backlog of things you need to publish. You have templates for blogs, social media, and newsletters. If you take the new blog, for example, the template looks like this. So you have last updated, table of content, and some different sections. Feel free to modify this template as you prefer. This allows you to easily schedule all your content planned for any given moment. That's it for the main dashboard. Now, if we have a quick look at the databases, you will retrieve all the same databases. But you also have additional pages such as operations, which contains team handbooks, SOPs, and design styles and guides. Then you also have a place to store all your testimonials. And as we've seen, mood board, ebooks, and a place to archive stuff. Now here, it's not just your databases for each section, as you can see with the red outline. It's a synced block. And so if I click on projects, you will see that you'll have a navigation bar on the side, which lets me access any page from any section. So here in the project management section, I can access projects, tasks, calendar. They all have the same one, except for operations, which is not a database. This way of organizing databases can be really useful because if you have a hundred tasks, it will take a lot of space on the main dashboard. So it lets you easily see everything here. The dashboard is a more condensed version of all of this. So it's like two templates for one. I really like this navigation, this in-page navigation bar, because I think it's easier to use than Notion one. But of course, you can access any page here from Notion's navigation bar. If you want to go to invoices, click here and there you go, you have all your invoices. I think that's it for the overview of the template. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email. I hope you enjoyed and see you later.